Hello everyone. Now we will uh, discuss the conceptual topic of a diode which has wide applications that is the switching characteristic. It is an important topic from understanding point of view for all the different devices like BJT, MOSFET. This puts constraints on the frequency of input signal if the switching response of the device is not as desired. We will understand the meaning of what I am saying. Suppose I have a diode which is applied with some input voltage maybe that is varying but in this case I am considering it is having it is changing only in two steps maybe positive or negative. VD is voltage across the diode, ID is current through the diode and it is feeding a load resistance RL. Fine. Now, say at a particular instant, say at T equal to T1, from 0 to T1, the diode is forward biased. The voltage V in is VF. VF is positive voltage, maybe uh, some value. Diode is forward biased with voltage VF. Fine. At when it is forward bias, current through the diode will be the normal current with small maybe 0.7 volt like this. Current through the diode is full current, which is limited by what? That is Vf upon Rn with some voltage drop. Of course, Vf minus drop across the diode. I am not bothered about it. Fine. Then what is happening? This voltage across the diode is maybe 0.7 volts. So product of these two is nothing but product of current and voltage is dissipation in the diode. That is small. Why? Because it is small. So dissipation in the diode is small when it is forward biased. And when diode is forward biased, there is storage of minority excess minority carriers on N side. We have just seen when a diode is forward biased, there is injection of holes on N side and those holes are stored near the junction area on N side. Those are called excess minority carriers stored in the N layer near junction. So holes are stored. Fine. Now please see this carefully. Uh, there is a little correction here. The current, these excess carriers start decreasing like this. Fine. Uh, it is here. So, when you reverse bias the diode, when you apply the negative voltage from the source, it is, you are applying negative voltage. So, what will happen? When you apply the negative voltage, the layer of the diode, please try to recall, when it was forward biased, there were excess minority carriers stored near the junction area. So, when it is positive, it is negative so there are holes stored near the junction area on this side that is p this is n so there were excess minority carriers that is holes stored in this area in this area that is q charge q we have seen in the previous topic when you apply negative when you reverse bias the diode these excess minority carriers will start flowing from n side to p side why because these will be pushed away by this positive potential so the excess minority carriers will start moving from N side to P side when you reverse bias the diode. Since there is flow of the carriers from N side to P side, excess minority carriers, the current suddenly starts flowing from N side to P side. Therefore, diode current becomes negative. And I am assuming this remains constant till when these access all the access minority carriers move from N side to P side and concentration of access minority carriers will reduce. Till this concentration reduces current remains almost constant in reverse direction from N to P side. So what is happening during this duration? We are removing the charge of access minority carriers from N side to P side. In other words, I am discharging 
the diffusion capacitance diffusion capacitance was because of this only because of the storage of excess magnetic carriers on this side when these charges are moving on this side or similarly excess electrons stored on this side will be moving from p to n side what is happening the diffusion capacitance is discharging the diffusion capacitance is also given another name that is called storage capacitance so this period during which these excess minority carriers stored from n side to p side uh, are stored are shifted from n side to p side and electrons excess minority carriers stored on p side are shifted to n side is called storage time why storage time it is indirectly it is nothing but the time required to discharge the storage capacitance when all the excess minority carriers are removed from the layers the current is this now what will happen you have removed all the excess magnetic carriers from the layers during this period the voltage drop across the diode is a rem it remains positive but small now once all the excess magnetic carriers from this side are shifted to this side or this side are shifted to this side what will happen please see this understand it carefully when the charge from this side that was what holes when charge of holes which were near the junction area are shifted on this side then what will happen expansion of the depletion layer will start please understand at, at reverse biasing what happens the width of the depletion layer will expand but that will expand only after removal of all the excess minority carriers stored in this and this layer so this is the period of expansion after which instant after t2 after t2 what up to t1 to t2 what has happened all the excess minority carriers have been removed from the layers the storage capacitance has been discharged storage means diffusion capacitance has been discharged after the discharge of the diffusion capacitance the expansion of the depression will, will layer will start that expansion of depletion layer means what when you expand it what will happen more and more bound charges will be appearing in the depletion layer bound charges are dis uh, are appearing in the depletion layer that means you are charging which capacitance the junction capacitance the transition capacitance the space charge capacitance you are charging this capacitance and when you charge a capacitance what happens the current through the capacitance decreases when you charge a capacitor current through the capacitor will decrease so this current starts decreasing and at an instant when the current from this is the current which current which is moving from n side to p side why it is negative current so when at an instant when this current becomes equal to what the saturation reverse saturation current moving from n side to p side remember when diode is reverse biased what is the current through the diode that is the reverse saturation current so after dis dis discharging of the storage capacitance after removal of excess minority carriers the current through the diode starts decreasing in reverse direction and when this current becomes equal to the reverse saturation current that means your transition capacitance is fully charged what is the meaning that expansion of the depletion layer is completed that duration is called a transition capacitance so transition period that duration is called transition period so what is the transition period the time required to charge the transition capacitance what is the storage time time required to discharge the storage capacitance this is time required to charge the transition capacitance this is the time required to discharge the storage capacitance fine the total period from t1 to t3 is called reverse recovery time what is the meaning of reverse recovery time please do understand after reverse biasing of the diode after not reverse biasing after uh, changing the supply voltage 
करंट इज नॉट बिकमिंग सडनली रिवर्स सैचुरेशन करंट इट इज टेकिंग टाइम फ्रॉम दिस इंस्टेंट टू दिस टाइम दैट इज कॉल्ड रिवर्स रिकवरी टाइम सो रिवर्स रिकवरी टाइम इज वॉट इट इज द टोटल टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू रिड्यूस द करंट टू रिवर्स सैचुरेशन करंट आफ्टर रिवर्स बायसिंग द डायोड आफ्टर अप्लाइंग नेगेटिव वोल्टेज अक्रोस द डायोड दैट इज कॉल्ड रिवर्स रिकवरी टाइम फाइन understanding is more important there may not be direct question but theoretical questions can be there in engineering services but that concept is important when you what happens inside the diode when you reverse bias the diode fine so here what will happen when the transition capacitance is discharge that when transition capacitance is charging when the expansion of the depletion layer width is taking place voltage across the depletion layer will build up voltage across the de depletion layer starts building up and finally when current becomes equal to reverse saturation current whole of the supply voltage appears across this depletion layer and that is minus vr so please see it carefully when during the discharging of transition discharging of storage capacitance current through the diode is what minus vr upon rl it means current through the diode is controlled by limited by this r changing the supply voltage fine now please see it carefully when diode was forward bias current through it was large voltage drop, drop across the diode is just maybe 0.7 volt the power dissipation vd into id is small during the next instant that is the uh, discharging of storage capacitance current is large what voltage drop across the diode is small product is small but since it is positive it is negative i have shown it to be negative but during this period current is large voltage is large power dissipation will be large so in in junction based devices that is the constraint when i use it as a switch on off the maximum power dissipation will take place during the transition period please do remember there can be objective type question in engineering services prelims that maximum power dissipation in a pn junction device occurs during the transition period so if you are switching on and off if you are turning on and turning off a device then the switching losses will be high as compared to the continuous on losses or continuous off losses so switching losses in pn junction based devices are high as compared to continuous conduction losses please remember this concept because i will be talking about this concept when we are going to discuss the transistors and mosfet so from understanding of uh, mosfet thyristors then bjt that concept becomes important so please do remember the switching characteristic of a diode this is important for understanding of the devices not exactly for the question in exam so i hope the concept is clear so please uh, share your views and experiences whenever you feel like you can always give the suggestions for improvement but i am trying to give my best to make you understand so just wait for the next video thank you very much for watching the video